Hey everybody, this is Steven, you could call myself the KC game. We are back to Doki Doki Lechika Plus. So, the last time, I didn't even get a chance to get to the side story yet, because I've been busy trying to hang out with Yuri, uh, trying to proceed to the story, but sometimes it'll take a long time to do it, and I sometimes I made a mistake for it, because I've been skipped the dialogues and everything, because I want to mess it up and everything, so, yeah. But there's something strange that's going to happen while I was doing it. When right after I finished with that stuff with Yuri and almost at the end of Act 1, I received mail. There was one and something was relevant. I don't know. But there's something about like the cat disperses. I think they're referring to was the protagonist, not the four girls that I was talked about from the last part. Now, I thought for sure it was about those four characters. Of four girls that they were mentioned in it, but no, they say something about the character, character, which is a good quotation for that, meaning as it's something to do with a protagonist, right? Uh, like I'm not sure because we hadn't seen like any appearance or anything or what the character be look like exactly, but if you look to the pictures, we hope those pictures you see, and it's right around right here, and this is like. The this full sketch details of the what the protagonist would be look like because I got that because of the mail stuff and everything. <laughs> would that be weird? Is it could be like the protagonist would be look like this? But strange enough it is because we don't even know what the protagonist would be look like. It would be weird if they have protagonists in here, uh, but not really because they will make that from like the fan made protagonist from almost like almost for the past and everything that they design their own or something. But. On the other hand, I'm more curious on like uh, what the real protagonist would be look like. <laughs> but anyways, so that's the only thing I'm really curious of what those characters like refer to the protagonist exactly like who he is or what's the purpose and all this. I don't know. I mean, a protagonist is supposed to like um, have like a main character or something like that. Also like um, trying to like progress the story or something. So I don't know. But it doesn't like that I don't understand it much exactly, so maybe if we keep going on or something might be interesting is happening. Or I don't know, like fill up more pictures as they can while I'm progressing it. So there's no telling how long it lasts exactly, so anyway, we'll just go back to the, the main game. But we're not going to like try and get to the end of it because if we go at the end for Act 1, it'll just mess up the whole thing and everything. I want to like restart and everything, so um... I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is like where we left off exactly, and that even that like right time exactly, 7:46. I don't think that's not even the right time there. <laughs> I mean, it's supposed to be from like um on real times there, not from the, uh, <laughs> the time that was really different. Unless the time that made a mistake or something. I don't know. Yeah, every time it looks a mistake to me. So, anyways, I think this like. I say one of the to follow with Natsuki is around here, right? And of course, it takes some time to load. Uh, make sure I don't mess up the dialogues and everything. Sometimes I don't like it, it's like, um, it just like loads out like for like a few seconds or something. So, I don't mess it up and everything. So, ah! okay, now here comes Natsuki's part. Here, Natsuki is other than an expert sight from within the closet. She seemed to be annoyed by something, which, by the love of the manga, that I should put on the top, so approach her, in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? That's obvious, her manga. Freaking Monica! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot! What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Let's get nice a bunch of stack books and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You read manga, right? Uh, well, of course, that's what he says from the protagonist. Sometimes, manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How do you know them um, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. That was around yesterday, isn't it? Or well, he said, like, manga. And then Asuka said, like, ooh. It just can't, like, she can say something like that. Besides, it's kind of raining on your face. 
What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Can you read inside my mind? Uh, I see. There's a long volume of manga amidst the stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pulled out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatching out of uh, my hand. She then turns to the box of manga, slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Instead of being like, make sure everything normal guys, so make sure like, don't mess up the volumes like, in order. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I mean, Natsuki had like tons of collections, but like three boxes of it, of a whole time manga collection. Like, how did she keep exactly? But I don't understand why Natsuki said, like kept manga in the school, not take, not put it in her home. Well, she did something like she, my dad will beat me up if she saw this like that. I don't want to refer to what's the involved relationship between father and daughter. Well, I want to know why. I get a closer look at the box set she admiring. Parfait girls? It's a series I never even heard of in my life. That's probably means it's either way out of my dem diplomatic or it's simply or it's terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glasses on the door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was a tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Steven. Consider this a straight, listen straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. Every single time. You can't judge a book by its cover. You just go along with it. In fact... Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Uh... I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, struck in animated feminine pose. Is that the one with manga read from the side story? It's exceedingly... It's... Extremely mo. Don't just stand there! Mwah! Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsill. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs won't work! But can't read at the same time like that! Eh? Uh, why is that? Ah, I guess it'd be easy to get closer, close together like this. Me, D don't just say that. You know who said that? What pop on the chest today? Come sit with next to me. You make me feel weird about it. Let's get across her arms and scooches an uh, inch away from me. Sorry, I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this closer either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel it peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Maybe a lot? I mean, Natsuki and I probably like, read two three times in a row. Huh? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life up there. I couldn't grow out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for a lack of plot. So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously! You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess you, I know what you're saying. A lot of beginning is about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with the guy in the ice cream shop. But that just helps you get to know the characters. Is that what I'm referring to, like, manga literature? And besides, it's still entertaining. And later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like, when they get into all their backstories, and when some of the romance starts to happen, that's really what makes it so good. There are so many touching parts. Ah, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I don't understand you. Hehe. <laughs> hey, wait! What's that supposed to mean? Huh? Natsuki gave me a little shove. 
Is they like pushing me? I just meant that I hadn't yet seen you at your full power. Hmm. Good save. Uh, this chapter seems like it's about bacon. This is just a guess. But is there a lot of bacon in this manga? Well, let's get past for a moment. As if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. Why does that matter? Is that the reason why you make cupcakes? That's one thing. It doesn't. I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's... Just a coincidence! I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. Like I would ever get into anything because it's in manga. I feel bad for anyone that imp impressionable. <laughs> Definitely not a coincidence. It looks like it's blushing and embarrassing. I cannot explain that case interest in making. So, of all the hobbies to pick up from manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention, she's really good at it. So, who am I to judge? And of course, it was like getting close to it. Like, she may be like a short. I mean, she was the only short person in this member. We'll be in a few more minutes. I finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Huh? Hmm? You don't? Um, of course. The fact is, Natsuki's friends is like, almost like make fun of a bullying her. Because they're from the side stories, so I don't think Natsuki can you know, like, answer that part. That's not what I would really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not do it in? Jeez. Oh, uh, sorry. Hmm. Like I ever get my friends to read this. I just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like. Eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes you wanna punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, and much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitate toward the uh, other losers over time. That's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait. Which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't know. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. Well, he probably would be mad, so that could be the bad. I don't know why he, her, her father was like, like, he very abusive to her a lot. There's a lot of story I don't know about them, or they're gonna give you some kind of backstory or something. I need to stay here in the club room. Said so Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it pays over the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, me and it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Yeah. So? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough! Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that part! Natsuki put a finger on one of the panels, which is gonna give us spoilers. Minori is my favorite character! You always feel a re little bad for her, she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when. Uh. I should be talking about that yet. Just finish the chapter! Let's give voice spark away excitement. Like you join or something? It's a stark contrast to her unusual bossy tongue. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express her words the uh, feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience. The thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone! Eh? Are you ready with today's poems? Oh, come on! Could you time me be any worse? <laughs> well, we're in the middle of a rainy, 
I was hoping I didn't finish the chapter. Sorry! I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though you do look pretty cozy over there. <laughs> eh? Ah! Asuki-san noticed how close she's gotten to me. Well, that's because she... I was reading a manga, and she just like... Watch me over. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. Alright. Guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah, but... Manga just said... Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Huh? Is that really alright? I said that mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. I mean, you don't you use read manga yourself? Well, of course. It would take forever to finish it if you don't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow, so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. <laughs> okay, jeez, Natsuki. I now have a precious, but your, your precious, your manga collection. By tomorrow? I haven't got part way through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. <laughs> you better not achieve you watch this kind of enemy. But I suppose that's necessarily sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Alright then, I stand up, return to where I put my stuff, and carefully slip the book into my bag. And of course, that's all it is, so Manga's gonna tell me, like, he finished the manga, I mean, finished the poems and everything, so. Let's go with Natsuki. I thought Natsuki was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine was with her first, because that's involved with Natsuki, so. Okay, well that, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um, it looks like you're blushing. Let's give you reads my poem. <laughs> it's like, um, never mind, I don't feel like you're giving you my opinion. Eh? But what's the point of sharing them in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Uh, well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was, was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha! Huh, well, it's not that great. But let me show you what real literature looks like. But how did that turn out? Because you only wrote, like, short. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So, in other words, you saying you like it? Like, let's get retorted, get caught in a drum. Uh, you're so... You just... You don't understand it, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world. Like, you're all self-important. Are you sure you never actually said that? I said that mostly to myself. That game must really hate me or something. I don't know, what are you referring to? She kinda liked it when I wrote the most of it. Back then, it's just like a few days ago, so... I can't figure out if it's win or lose, lost, that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Eh, yeah, fine, I guess. I am almost breath myself. Only because Monica will maybe if I don't. Um, just same thing like always, so... Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of uh, poems for people to express themselves? I'm pretty sure I read that down before. Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like, in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I said, for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It all brings out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. 
That's what I meant to be, bro. I'm glad you learned something. They spent that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling bad, then I won't take that away from her. Yeah, yeah. I forgot to even save it, man. I'm be done. Okay, I still got the same real time. I'm not sure what the big deal is. I'm like, my times are really different. I listen to me stuff, so let's go with Yoi. I'm pretty sure we're gonna do the same dialogue as always. Maybe you don't need to. Maybe only, sh maybe only share it on the first time. So, and here comes the the bad things happen. So, yeah. Yeah, do the same thing like always. With weird good music. So I got no choice to go outside with that gate, so. Um Yuri! You're really talented? Eh? W well But Natsuki has a point. I think that I wreck my brain in an attempt to back myself up, but Yuri's not gonna like it. I think that conveying feelings with few words can be just as precious as well. It, it lets the reader's imagination take over. Natsuki's phone did a really good job at that. Yeah! It did, didn't it? <laughs> Show us how much you know! Th that's not... Natsuki. I think that's enough. Huh? Me? But she was so mean to me! Let's give voice whines. Look. What we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing. And sharing it can definitely be hard. It looks like we learned that today. Even small criticism can lead to something pretty heated. I glance over my shoulder. Sayori is nodding ferociously. Yeah, so... You don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsuki. Ah! Natsuki's voice gets caught in surprise. Thanks for... Noticing. She finally mutters that. Very audible. Yuri. Yuri looks at me dejectedly. With a face like that, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean anything, everything she said. So you don't need to feel threatened either. Well, if you say so. Hey! It's not like you need to apologize for me, Steven! Sheesh! Natsuki takes a breath. I... I think about... Uh, Let's get a glance around the room. Will everyone stop staring at me? Unsurprisingly, Natsuki has a harder time with it than she boasts. Sayori and uh, Monica looked away. <laughs> We're just like, don't make an attention. Hmm. Anyway? I think about your... chest. I didn't mean it, okay? <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to say that weird things. That's all. Natsuki looks away, avoiding eye contact with anyone. Yay! You're naturally beautiful, Yuri! Sayori? Uh, I'll go make some tea. Eh? I was just trying to help! I'm sure she appreciated it, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. Well, now that we're past that, everyone reads each other's poems, right? How that was worthwhile for everyone. Especially you, Steven! And to be honest, a nice change of pace from the lazy around we got a little too used to. <laughs> ah, so my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere. No, not at all! Not at all! It seems that I will like ruin the system. There's still time before we go home. So we all relax for a bit. Of course, besides chatting, we do literally related things in the club room. So maybe you can take the chance to pick up a book, or do some writing. After all, that's what the club is for. I disagree, Monica. Eh? How about what? That's not the most important thing about the Ledger Club. The most important thing is having fun! <laughs> of course. Well, I guess that's why you're the vice president, Sayori. Hehehe. <laughs> In the end, though, Monica's right. Being in the literature club probably means I could, s I can't spend all my time doing nothing. But in the end, I can't spend worth it so far. <laughs> At least something. So, should I just skip again? 
and lead to a pawn stuff. It didn't any changer, so I'm curious. I'm like, I finish with Nutgate, so I hope it's something new. Well, I got no one. We got no mail, so that's sad. Uh, there's a new picture. Pictures of over Natsuki, so. Oh, I forgot the. No, make sure. There's Natsuki here. At least I still have, like, kept the file for a long time. Um. Yeah, just 21. Anyway, what's the next side story will be has for today? Reflection. So now it's about Yuri and Monica. I'm more curious at what's beyond those two. I think we're almost so far in the end. Like, almost the last one is going to be involved with, like, Natsuki and Yuri. That'll be a weird step between those two. <laughs> Anyways, let's just start the side story. Am I bothering you? Of course, we gotta give you music, like always. Hmm? No. Okay, just checking. I thought to tell since you always look so into it when you're reading. And you'd be scared to interrupt. <laughs> you're really scared? You did? It's almost like saying they what happened for the first first time before when you make your club, Monica. You're trying to talk with Yuri, but you can't. Well, it's within my expectations to be interrupt when I read here. It's mainly when I'm by myself that I don't like it. Hmm, that makes sense. I guess you're here in the first place. They are more ready to socialize. Even if it takes a little bit of pondering. It's not so bad to be social if I let others do the work. So it could be healthy to put myself in a social environment every now and then. It's mostly difficult when I do not know I don't know anymore anyone or there are too many people or everyone's been too silly for me to keep up with. Yuri glanced across the room at Sayori and Natsuki. Sayori had her head cocked her back before her mouth open, trying to catch a piece of a cookie that Natsuki is lobbing into the air, but the piece keeps bouncing off her face and hitting the floor. <laughs> is Natsuki trying to play with Sayori with the cookie? Maybe I should say something. No need. That just ran on the cookie. Well, I waste. They really become good friends, haven't they? I'm happy. Sayori seems particularly good at making that ha happen. But the two of them are both on the energetic side, so I suppose it works out well. Yeah, got to think of it. You and I haven't had any chance to talk one on one, have we? Though that may be partially my fault, since I'm supposed to be the one engaging club members. Not at all. I probably form a habit of drawing minimal attention to myself. Responsibility is equally on me, at least to display some openness to engage. Well, what about during times like lunch? Do you meet up with friends? I mean, didn't Yuri say for like, I never have any friends, like during lunchtime or something? I... I just read. Oh, but I like it that, that way. It feels nice to be carried off again after a morning of classes. Hmm. Do you always read fantasy? Oh, not always. I suppose it's all I read recently, but only because I'm in the middle of the series. There's still two more books after this one. How many books are you gonna have exactly? I bet I have like a long novel series. I guess these those long books suit you well, since you spend so much time reading. Well, Fancy may be my favorite, but after that, I'm more or less indiscriminate to genres. I'll read anything with depth and maturity. Oh yeah? Even like, romance? Well, there are a lot of books that have elements of romance in them. Oh come on Yui, you know what I mean! Monica lowers his voice. It's a guilty pleasure of mine, so I won't tell anyone if you do too. Maybe. More when I was in middle school. I mean, I was really lonely and people were mean to me a lot. Really, Yuri? Jeez. You have a hard life, don't you? So it just... It kind of felt like... <laughs> Please don't make me think about the past. <laughs> Sorry! I just got super curious. You know, we should totally pick out a romance novel to read. That would be so much fun. Absolutely not. Oh, rejected. Really? Even if it was just uh, between us? 
Try and ask you someone who has no shame. Like Natsuki. Do you still really hate her that much? Yuri! Ouch! Ah, uh, sorry! I swear I didn't mean that. Well, I guess it was my fault for pressing you. I'm like that for things in my past, too. You know, things I feel too embarrassed to re experience. There's nothing wrong with growing out of things, it happens to everyone. For instance, Natsuki's interest in manga reminds me quite a bit of how intense I used to be about my own interest. It makes me think that she likely grew, grow out of it too. Hey, what are you talking about me? <laughs> oh, of course, she, Natsuki must have listened to something between those two. Like, like, eh, is someone calling me my name? It happened to me a lot. Like, I thought I heard something like someone calling my name or something. I don't know. It's my brain hurt. It's just uh, how it is. Um, no, we were just... Oh, we were just talking about how it, our interests have changed over the years. When did you get into manga, Natsuki? Hmm, like a couple of years ago, I guess. A couple of years ago? That's more like curious. I want to know <laughs> what their backstory. I thought you sort of into it before then, but I wasn't really good going hard until then. Oh yeah, what was it that inspired you to get more into it? I don't know. I guess... Let me think. It was after I discovered a series that I really like. It just... That was it. You just found something caught your eyes and just took it with you. Next thing you know, just read it. It makes you feel like I want to want more. Yeah! I was just like, really fed up with a lot of things. And I got super into this one series that I really related to. I guess I had an edgy phase where I just hate everyone around me. And I wanted to be by myself. <laughs> Oh, that's not it. Hey, kind of like Yuri. M Monica. <laughs> Sorry. That's completely wrong. So, it's still cool that you both really, f really found your name. They're always like opposites, but it sounds like they help you a lot through the hard times. You know what? Mm. Wow, what the heck? Is that a book even bigger than the last one you were reading? Uh, um. Technically slightly longer, but not very, be very much. Let me guess, it's a portrait of Markov? You must have had that, didn't you? How high do you think it would go if you stuck up the whole series? Let's get estimate, estimates by holding her hand high above her head, sizing up an imaginary stack. I should get one of those mangas that like 50 volumes, so long that, so long, long so that I can say I read more than you. <laughs> I don't have money for that. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Does anyone have money around here? Please. That will hardly count when your books only have a few words per page. I know. I was just joking. I could never actually read books like yours. It's too boring for me. You should say glare at Natsuki. It's not boring. Wow, that's harsh. Chill! I said for me, not for you! I can't have my own opinions! I just think it's too convoluted! Sayori! Are those from the floor? Mm. Oh, I forgot Sayori was here as well. <laughs> I don't know what Sayori's been doing! <laughs> Gross! You didn't pick up the cookie from the floor, did you? Also, why are you here before touching any of my books? <laughs> of course, keep watching your hands. You know, stuff happens, bad things. But my hands aren't dirty. Just do it. The only is like there, even if you can't see them. Fine. Sayo trots out the door, and Natsuki follows. Yuri, you look a little upset. What kind of nerve does she have to call my hobby boring? Well, she did correct herself. Hardly. She was so condescending. No wonder why Natsuki and Yuri started hating each other. I don't mean if she thinks it's not for her. I understand that it's not for everyone. But she knows well how much these mean to me. So how about just leaving me alone instead of needlessly telling me the things you hate about it? I'm sorry, Yuri. You might be right. This won't be the last time people have strong feelings about what they like and don't like. Especially in Ninja Clamp, 
Sashuki figured out how to meditate discussion to keep the positive and constructive. For the record, I've always been impressed by the level of creativity in your books, and also your ability to get through them so quickly. Thank you. Okay, well, this is something that I have to think about it and revisit. I'm sure I can help Natuki find some common ground with you. Common ground isn't necessary. I just wish to be respected. That's then. That then? Either way, I'll do my best. I'm skeptical when it comes to Natsuki. I trust you, Monica. But I'm skeptical. You keep saying skeptical again. I'm not sure you've skeptical many times, so I'll say that. Oh, this is new. Okay, everyone! We have a special climb meeting today! As, as you know, Nunachika is a place where we get to share things that we're really passionate about. But that also means we should be mindful of how we respond to each other's feelings. I think we have a chance to turn out, turn our differences into a positive energy for each, each other. Aren't you being a little dramatic about this? This is point to me! Well, sorry, I just feel like I'm being accused of something. No, I'm not accusing anyone of anything. Sorry if I came out that way. But our conversation yesterday made me reflect on the power of the luggage language. Why was it luggage? That sounds wrong. And I thought it would be a good topic for the literature club. Don't you think? I'm sure we're going to have difference in opinion a lot. So I need to make sure we're prepared to keep a positive atmosphere in the club. If you say so. Sure. The cool thing about language is that it gives us a lot of different ways to express the same idea or emotion. We have a lot of control over how we want, we want the other person to feel when receiving a thought. This goes for poetry, narratives, casual conversation, basically anything. For example, Sayuri, what's your favorite food? Um, I had to organize my categories. Should I start with snacks or do you mean full meals? Should I include breakfast? Oh jeez. Okay. How about your favorite fruit? That's easy! Cherries! Really? I always thought cherries taste nasty. What? Cherries are delicious! <laughs> My god, Monica. You're not just being so harsh on her. Well, that's a pretty strong reaction. Well, I just don't understand how somebody could think cherries are nasty. How does it make you feel? I don't know. Sad? Defensive, maybe? Yeah, I got defensive. See? The reason you had this strong, such a strong reaction wasn't just because I don't like Jerry. It's because you felt like your opinion was under attack. But that's weird, right? So then my taste is completely subjective. But when I say something like, I think Jerry's nasty, I'm using adjective language. I'm challenging Sayori's reality that ch cherries are delicious with my own, which is that cherries are nasty. Wait, hold on! How's that adjective when you just say it was our own, only your own opinion? Oh my god, there's a lot of things. It almost feels like a lot of things from the English class, does it? It has to do with the way our brains interrupt the words. You talk about the reality of the cherries, not your feelings about them. Like, Sayori! Let's be wait for a second. And hey, Brian, I didn't tell you that I think cherries are nasty. Good. So what if instead of that, I said like, I tried cherries and they're not for me. It's not the kind of flavor I enjoy. Well, that's fine. As long as you don't call it nasty. Nasty? It's a nasty word. <laughs> well, don't you mean bad word? Okay. So cherries was kind of a weird example. But I think it gets the point across. This time around, instead of talking about the cherries, I'll just talk about my feelings inside you doing get defensive. So instead of clashing with each other, I think we receive an invitation to talk about our difference. Yay! You don't need to take notes. I'm not gonna quiz you on it, something. <laughs> really? Yuri, you don't do it with something, aren't you? I, I know that. I was just... Mm, sorry, I didn't mean to call you out. You could do whatever you like. But does anyone have any thoughts on so far? Yeah. 
I just feel like I shouldn't have to pull all my language through a filter just to protect someone's feelings. Well, you don't have to. The choice is yours on how you want to come across to other people. I always suggest it as a tool to help turn your difference into a positive experience rather than an argument. Right, Sayumi? Whatever you said, Cherry Hater. Oh, come on. We're just playing along, Sayori. Can't you just pretend and go along with it? Sayori, I actually like cherries. I was just saying that to help demonstrate. What the heck? I've been dumped! <laughs> wow, Sayori. No wonder you're so weird, weird but I still like you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sayori. I'll make it up to you later. How about a cherry sundae? You're welcome to dump me in time. My beloved present. Buying your people's loyalty. How deplorable. Oh, like you would turn down a free Sunday, Yuri? You're suddenly a fan of those cupcakes I brought in the other week. That was. Uh, I mean. Uh, I was reading and not keeping track of them. Oh, uh, that's enough. We're getting off topic. So, now that we have the gist of it, how about you try it with something more relevant to the club? Like manga, right? I tried to have a productive discussion about our difference of opinion. Yui, do you want to start? Um, well, I rather not. No. Uh, how come? Well, because I don't see how anything productive can come from that. He seems Yui doesn't complain on his own. It's just going to start a fight. No, it'll be fine. That's why I'm here to moderate. I just have a calm and rational discussion. Yeah, give me a little more credit. I'm not a child. You don't have to color my feelings. I always think it's more respectable to just speak your mind. Respectable? Your expression changes at that word. As Marco recalls, being respected was the crux of the matter for Yuri. Well, the point in the exercise isn't exactly like it's fine. I have nothing against anyone personally. You're entitled to enjoy whenever, whatever it is you like. I just prefer more than the nuisance in my reading material. I look for stories that are imaginative and sophisticated beyond the surface level. Oh, well that's just a misunderstanding then. I think you were gonna say that manga's for children or something. Like I don't hear enough of that. But there's a plenty of deep manga. I'm not clueless about manga. I read my own fair share when I was younger. What? Are you serious? How could you never told me? Because I'm past that to point in my life. And I really prefer not to revisit it. Well, you don't want to think about her past then? Or think about not yours, Yuri? I prefer more mature things now. Excuse me? Okay, hold on. Can I jump in here? Let's try to keep things subjective. Because if you apply that manga is immature, then aren't you playing that someone's immature for being into it? I... This ain't good. Well, maybe it's immature to judge people for having different tastes than you. Natsuki? Nobody's immature! I read Natsuki's manga in Yuri's fantasy, and love them both in their own way! Okay, okay. It's great that you like it, but I still find it boring. Boring is a subjective. Okay, it bores me. That's subjective. But, I mean, the thing about... That, this is ridiculous. Do you see why I didn't want to participate in this? I knew it was just going to make people upset. I'm not upset. Like I said, I don't care what other people think. But I always got the impression that you secretly looked down upon me. Some guy I'm suspicious were confirmed. That's not true at all. You're making obsessions. You can't blame me for getting defensive when nobody ever has the least bit of respect for the things that I'm into. The only thing I look down upon is when people make fun of me for just being myself and trying to mind my own business. What? Have you looked in the mirror? Tell me again about the respect after calling all of my interests immature. You can't. Please stop. Please. 
Oh no. Sorry. Don't you dare make Sayori cries. That's right in front of you. You don't mean that things you saying right now. Let's just be friends. I didn't mean for this to happen. Well, it did. So please don't invite yourself to try and solve other people's problems next time, okay? Yuri's piercing words send the club room into a choked silence as she gathers her things. Oh no, this is bad. She's about to leave. She leaves. Holy crap. I really wish it had some kind of like a sound effect there. They may gonna open the doors or something. I never heard her sound like that before. She must be so pissed. Well, you weren't very nice either, so... I was just saying. How did this happen? It's my fault. Yuri wasn't wrong. I should have tried to moderate a conflict when I know how bad I am at dealing with conflicts. It was really stupid things for me to do. It's nobody's fault, and it wasn't stupid. Everyone in the club is a nice person. Nobody would have expected this. But I guess we're sensitive about the things we really love. Honestly, she kind of brought it upon herself. Like I said, I don't care if you're not into manga, but if you actually look down on other people for it, that's the kind of point I was trying to make in the first place. It's not about sugarcoating things, it's about just recognizing and understanding our difference. Okay, but here's the thing about that. Yuri actually looks down on me. It has nothing to do with her word choice or anything like that. So I see what you're trying to do. But I really think the problem here is her. Not just like the way we talk to each other, right? I mean... Yuri isn't like that. She's a lot sweeter than you're giving her credit for. I'm sure she'll be reflecting on this. I actually think everyone should. It'll be fine. I'll figure something out. Wow. I'm just like... Saying that incentively. I'm just saying... Setting myself up to cause more problems. This wasn't your fault, Monica. You don't have to beat yourself up for over it. If you ask me, it's good that the truth finally came out. Because I can just move on now. But... Mm, it's fine. I promise. Let's just get our minds out this, okay? In fact, it's a good opportunity to read some manga without having to worry about you feed, feeding your superiority complex. Don't be mean! I'll talk and read or read manga or whatever you want, but don't be mean to my friends, okay? Sorry. I'm just bitter. Everything will be okay. I mean, I don't have the answer, but I at least know that we're all good people and don't want to hurt each other. This will be a learning experience. Manga said that. Her uneasiness is given away by how much she has to force, the reassuring tone in her voice. This was bound to happen eventually. Let's get Yuri had always engaged with each other the least out of anyone. And this is the reason. As I and Natsuki proceed to distract themselves with Monica, uh, Manga, Monica sighed to herself, unable to shake her worried thoughts. Will the club really have to just come to terms with the fact that some members will be incompatible with each other? Monica desperately doesn't want to admit that, and she knows Sayori doesn't either. But for once, Sulusin doesn't seem to be in sight. Wow. That turned worse, is it? And I got new music. Um, is it like a different music for poor? Ah, let's teamwork. Is it almost like, um... Is it almost like, okay, everyone? Hmm. Interesting. Anyways. I'm not sure what the big deal with Yuri, anyway. Like, is she, like, doesn't even respect to how Yuri does or something? I don't know. Anyway, let's just proceed on to the next one. Um, part two. A new day arrives. I mean, wish we could kind of date. Sayori arrives at the club room earlier than usual. That is, not late. As she enters, it appears to be empty still. 
So she sits down at the desk and pulls out a sheet of paper, trying to jot down her thoughts. Sayori has made a habit of scribbling her thoughts and feeling into paper whenever possible, as it tends to serve as her best inspiration for poetry. I'm just sure she's gonna write something. My heart feels vacant because of ship sailed away. Yo! Yeah! Natsuki! <laughs> really? Why did Natsuki just scare you out of nowhere like you weren't paying attention? Natsuki pokes her head out from behind a closet door. Wait, you were already there first? Where did you come from? <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. But it would have been a lot more awkward if I didn't say anything. I thought you'd want me to listen in on your poetry thing. Y yeah? Thanks for realizing that. Should I let you finish that up then? Oh no, it wasn't. I, uh, I just do it whenever it's convenient. You know interrupting. Where's Monica, by the way? Oh, she's... out in the hallway. Huh? Why? Well... Just in case she's went into Yuri. Sometimes Yuri is too nervous to come into the club room by herself, so... Oh. Gee, does Yuri really let things bother her for that long? She can't control her feelings. For some people, it's really hard to cope when you get a bad thought in your hand. Maybe you can distract yourself for a little while. But as soon as it's just you and your thoughts again, it comes back. Nah. Yeah. Hmm? I just want us to have a normal club meeting. It's a lot easier to pretend like it never happened if we all just ignore it and move on. I don't want to be bothered by this. It's so stupid, her opinion of me doesn't matter anyway. Besides, it may feel really guilty and I hate that too. It's okay to have feelings. It doesn't make you weak. Let's figure this out all together. Fine. Only because you're good at this stuff. Let's try to come up with the happy sense. Maybe that will help us understand where your bad feelings are coming from. Well, I was happy the way things were before we had to have that conversation yesterday. What part of the conversation made you upset? Was it Yuri being mean about the manga? Maybe. I doubt it though. Because my friends and other people make fun of manga all the time, but I just brush it off and ignore them. But something about it really got to me this time. And I hate that I might let that happen. It's because it came from Yuri? No! What would that matter? I mean... Well... Well... Maybe. I just... I hate that she thinks she's so much better than me. Just because she's like to pretend to be all sophisticated. Yeah, that's what it is. At least other people decided that they don't like me, or manga, or whatever. But you think like she's too good to even give it a chance. I'm sorry. Everyone deserves a chance. Yeah, exactly. Would you give Yuri's books a chance? Huh, <laughs> after this, obviously not. What about before this? Well, I went until I got bored, which wouldn't take very long. But if you actually keep an open mind, if it's not, then it's not hard to realize that story can be deep and meaningful without being needlessly complicated. I see. But you know, I like Yuri's books. Yeah, but you like manga more, right? Sayo shakes her head. I like them both. I like them in different ways, but I like them both. I mean, the manga, it's really honest, fun, and easy to just let go with. And the fantasy has a lot to interrupt and uncover. And it's really rewarding to have some good quiet time together with it. But the most important thing is that both of, well, that both the manga and the fantasy are true to themselves. So, I love them both. And I think there's room for both of them to be in the same club together. And I just feel like, maybe, maybe they have more in common than you would think. How'd you get along when everyone's so well? Oh, now that's going to you something really interesting and get really deep. I always get into fights with people. Like, first it was with Monica, when I was new to the club. And then it was you. And now it's Yuri. And 
and I'm always like, oh, that person being such a jerk, and if they just realized that, then we could at least get along. But nobody else has this problem. I just keep running away from the reality that everybody's just a jerk to be because nobody likes me. And I don't know why, and I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I hate it. Natsuki. Sayori puts a company hand on Natsuki's shoulder. You are one of a person. You deserve to be loved as much as everyone else. Everyone has different ways they like to communicate, you know? And sometimes that makes it harder for us to understand each other. I think that sometimes, sometimes we get lucky and we make friends who are really good at the same kinds of communication. And it feels like you magically connect with them. But the other times, even if both people are really nice, each one needs to misunderstood each other or get to the communication wrong. It's something that Yuri struggles a lot with too. It can be really hard. It takes a lot of, like, reflections and self-awareness and vulnerability. I'm bad at that one. Vulnerability. I always have to be the strongest. What do you mean? Tell me about the part of you. Well, it sounds stupid, but I'm really used to people being mean to me. Like, my friends. And I guess my dad, like when I don't get a good grade, or even stupid things like if my room isn't clean. Oh, of course, I gotta bring it to that part again. Still more curious. Is it because Natsuki can do whatever she wants to? But, I don't know, like, I don't understand much, exactly. So what am I gonna do? Cry about it? If I let myself get upset, then just letting them win. I'm better than that. I'm better than all of them. So, things always have to be everyone else's fault. It feels like if something got wrong, goes wrong, and there's even a tiny hint that it might be my fault then. I just get really angry and I find ways to blame everything else instead. Do you see yourself as better than you? If I say that, then I would just sound really full of myself. No! Our thoughts and our feelings are two different things. Even if we don't like our feelings, we have to understand them if we want to learn more about themselves. That's the point of vulnerability, you know? Accepting that we have feelings that we don't like? I... I hate that. My feelings make me a bad person. Because my feelings just want to tell me that I'm so much better than her. That she's a judgmental know-it-all who is stuck in her edgy phase and that I'm just way above that garbage. But I'm terrible for feeling that, feeling that way. You're not terrible. You're not... Your feelings. But you are not your feelings. Say that to yourself. Out loud. Fine. I am not my feelings. The way that I like to picture it is that those feelings are like your roommate. You live in the same house and you gotta get you gotta see each other every day. And even if you can't ignore each other most of the time, you're gonna run into each other each other every now and then. It's gonna make you feel like poop. So your option is to get to know get to know each other. You can communicate and learn from each other. And you even help each other change for the better. Does that sound help you understand? How do you know so much about this stuff? I just have a roommate that can be really hard to get along with. What are you referring to a protagonist? Is that what you're referring to? Called depression. Oh, you gotta call it depression. Okay, you're referring to protagonist. But now you gotta tell about her mental issue. Depression? But you're like the happiest person I know. I am not my feelings. I want to be a good person like you. Aww, you little sweetheart. We're all good people. You, Yuri, and Monica. And I think Yuri will eventually learn about learn that about you. 
Natsuki remained silent, feeling a little overwhelmed. Despite Sayu's kindness, kind reassurance, a complicated mixture of pain and sadness seemed to fill her, as though flowing from a wound inside her. Was it a result of her vulnerability? No, it wasn't as though she was inflict a wound after becoming vulnerability. It was as though she began to rediscover an old wound, one that cannot simply be bandaged and left alone any longer. But where's Yuri, Monica? How long does Amanda come here? Oh. Okay, this is new. So this is this, uh, different... Is that the end of the whole era, right? And of course, they got a vending machine, they got lots of drinks here. I mean, the vending machines are really different back then. I kind of like the one in Japan, because they got tons of drinks that I like the most of it, so... Man, I really want those. Yuri! What are you doing all the way over here? I was looking for you! I... Please don't yell at me. Oh, I'm not going to yell at you. I just want to say that I'm sorry about what happened yesterday. It was unfair for me to put everyone in the spot like that. Next time, I won't just jump, try to jump in and solve everyone's problems. I guess it's a bad habit of mine. You're not mad at me? I thought you were the one mad at me. I was so awful yesterday. Yuri calls up. Recalling deeds is the argument. I can't even have a normal conversation without saying something wrong and making everyone upset. Hold on! That's not what happened at all! Let's talk about this, okay? You pause for a second. Then, imagine not. Maka take a seat next to her on the staircase. Is it, uh... uh not, you're not afraid to see on the, ch the staircase, is it? I have a lot of negative thought patterns and I can't get away from them. What kind of negative thought patterns? Like everyone hates me. Especially Natsuki. Ah! Aw, that's terrible! I don't think Natsuki hates you! How'd you know? Well, because... Maka thinks back to the time that she herself found herself in the altercation with Natsuki. And how a display of maturity from Nanaka was enough for Natsuki to reevaluate her own feelings as well. I think... I think Natsuki is just naturally defensive. I think she acts mean when she feels a need to protect herself. But you know, she be not a bad person. In fact, I think she can be really thoughtful and considerate. She just, well, I guess the way it look works is that she wants to receive more, receive some Dukita kindness first before she feels comfortable returning it. Oh, but that means the burden is on me. And I don't know how to say things that make people like me. If I open my mouth, I just... Yuri shakes her head at herself and tucks her on her hair. It's okay, Yuri. You don't need to beat yourself up. I think if anyone would like you if they had the chance to get to know you. Well, unfortunately, the opposite is true. That's why I'm not talkative anymore in the first place. Because everyone used to think I was weird. I talk about me behind my back. That's just what happens when I draw attention to myself. Natsuki even said she found it more respectable when people speak their mind. So I did. And then she hated me anyway. That was enough to confirm my fears. But, but Sayori and I like you. And we're going to know you a lot by now, right? Mm-hmm. You doesn't even seem to have respond. Hey, what do you think of Natsuki? Uh, uh, I don't think about her. That's what I meant, really. That's not what I meant, really. Uh, I just... Mm, I was just wondering if you had an opinion on her. I... do. What is it? Natsuki seems to bring out the worst in me, and I feel really shame of my... I like to think of myself as a fairly sophisticated person. So for someone to just treat me like I'm inferior, despite my taste, that's just the worst kind of insult coming from someone like her. And it makes me think bad things about her. 
but everyone else seems to like her. So, the only explanation is that it's me who's doing something wrong again. And my feelings about her are wrong. And I'm wrong to get upset over something so childish and inconsequential. No! Yuri! Feelings are never wrong! Well, that's not right. That's the thing! Feelings are never right or wrong, you know? They're just... They're just a state of being that we don't always have control over. But that doesn't mean they have to control us. I feel like... That's something I learned around when I first started the club. We can hate ourselves for feeling a certain way about things. Or we can, you know, just acknowledge that they exist and try to understand them better. I could never be mad at you for just feeling that certain way. It's about how you handle them. And I think working through feelings is a great opportunity for for teamwork. Yuri wears a dejected expression. You make it sound so easy. You're so mature. And so good with people. I feel like such a child in comparison. Oh, Yuri. I'm far from perfect. But these are learned skills. They didn't come naturally to me either. It's really hard to like Reflect on yourself, and separate your feelings and your thoughts. I just... want to be a good person. Well, I think it takes a good person to get this far. That's not good enough. I want to be able to communicate to her. Communicate what? How I feel. How it makes me feel frustrated that and upset when she is so negative and dismissive of things that mean so much to me. Oh my god, I'm starting to lose my eyes or something because I must have eaten too much. I'm feeling like lightheaded. It made me feel like every time I read it, it made me feel like lightheaded. And how it. How it reminds me of me. Because I know it's what, what it's like to feel me misunderstood and angry at everyone. I know that telling yourself you're better than any everyone else is just as defense mechanisms. We're just people. We're fragile and unstable. But I'm just tired of that getting in the way. I can't stand it when the peace is disturbed like this. Yeah, you can't focus on your reading when it's the peace is disturbed, right? Because I, because. The Lichika should be happy for everyone. Maka looks at Yuri in a... Adoration. Adoration? I feel like Sire must be rubbing off on me. Cause... I really want to hug you now. Mmm... Ah... <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. No, um... I mean... Well, if you wanted to... Then I wouldn't mi really mind to... Maka pulls... Yuri into a short break. You sound gentle. Why? Are you supposed to get a hugger? Monica? And I love when you communicate your feelings. It feels lucky to get to see that side of you. And I'm sure Natsuki will too. I'm going to write her a letter. Oh, a letter! What's a great idea? Just because... I'm not good at talking. Especially under pressure. I always let my feelings get the best of me, and I forget to say all the important things, and I say things I don't mean. Well, I think a letter would be wonderful. Such a nice way to communicate. Yuri face hardens with their determination. People don't naturally gravitate towards me like they do for you and Sayori. My personality just isn't suited for that, and I wouldn't want it to be it. But something I learned is that friendship don't always just magically appear out of thin air. For instance, I never would have seen myself making friends with someone like Sayori. We're opposite in a lot of ways. But I'm friends with her because she put so much effort into understanding me so that we can get along. I think it was the same with you. 
You both give me a lot of time and presence and patience. Oh god, my eyes. I think I lose my eyes for a second here. And that's sad because I've been looked too much on the screen or something. And I wonder if if she feels the same way. Natsuki? You're not. I always thought that if I want to make more friends, I had to do be somebody that I'm not. That there's a type of person or a magical formula I had to follow in order to make someone like me. And that's just like me to think that. Always so occupied with myself that I fail to understand other people. You shakes her head. Friendship happens when you think about the other person. Part person. When you offer time and effort to understand them and respect them and trust that. That they also want to be a good person. That's what I learned through my obsession, Observation Nurture Club. Observation? Marcos caught by surprise. Yui has always kept to herself so much that it's so unusual to her hear her suddenly talking about the club like that. But Yui gently smiles to herself. You always let me listen to your thoughts about my people. Sayori too. It makes me happy because I learn a lot of things. That's so sweet. I had no idea it meant that much to you. Marco never thought much of it. But the past weeks, Yui always seems to be especially intensive when it com came to the problems and concerns of others. Always wanting to listen and learn more about her friends in the club. It's true. Sayori and Monica are naturally more comfortable with other people and can more easily work through the situation's conflict. But that doesn't make them better, better people. It will have strengths and weakness and the capacity to improve. And the first step towards improving oneself is reflection and self-aware awareness. It's something that Yui never gave herself enough credit for, but that Monica can recognize as an incredible trait. With that, her confidence in the club is restored. Awfully. A very shy girl with long, pretty hair, a swan in a bustling lunchtime hallways, her fists pressed into her collarbone. Wait, it's lunchtime already? When she finds the literature club president classroom, she stands at the door, glances around her, before appearing inside. Masa, sitting and chatting with a group of unknown friends. Yeah, I suspected this was a bad idea after all. Suddenly, Monica glances towards the door, making the girl panic and duck out of sight. Is it Yuri? Before she can regain composure and decide for sure to leave, the classroom door gently opens. Yuri? I was about to see you during lunch! Oh, that's Yuri? <laughs> Why is that I call a girl? Yuri squeaks a response. Please help me. What? Is everything okay? Yuri shakes her head. I don't know how to write letters. Really? That's the one thing you don't know? <laughs> Thank goodness, I thought there was some kind of emergency. Monica briefly glanced over her shoulders at her other friends. Do you want some help? We can go find an empty classroom or something. Is that okay? I feel bad taking you away from your friends. It's totally fine, I promise. He wouldn't really do anything. One sec. Monica draws back to her classroom to say something like, I gotta go to her friend. And then grabs a pen off. Pen off her dance before returning to Yuri. Really? Just simple word. I gotta go. Or something like that. And might I gotta have a friend as well? That looks pretty strange. Okay, let's find someone quiet. Yuri nods from Monica as the two of them set off. How are you today? Huh? Me? Well, yes. <laughs> oh gosh! Sorry, I was just caught off guard. I'm doing well today. Just tired. Never seem to get enough sleep during the week. Have you ever sleep that much? How come? Oh, I don't know. I think I'm just really distracted. I can really suck into things and start neglecting the time. Me too. I'll do that too. <laughs> hey, this classroom is empty. Let's go in here. At the peer inside, Maka opens the classroom door and the two of them enter. 
This is gonna be like a random what? Yeah, the same empty classroom. Yui's a moment of relaxation ends. She watches as Monica pull two chairs up to the same desk. Then obeys as Monica beckons her to take a seat. She stands at the empty desk. You nervous? I don't want to do this. We don't! We don't have to! We can come up with something else! You shakes her head. It's my chance to do something good. I need to take initiative. Gosh, you must be really determined. I know how hard it is to step out of your comfort zone. I'll be sure to encourage you. You push her through her anxiety and grabs a handful of lined paper from her notebook. Then, she picks up her pen. Well, of course, we got the interesting image of Manga Hub Yuri write a letter. And of course, there's the, the pen from one of those, the main new one. The exact same pen that, that she always had kept up for so long. Like always. And it's so really weird between those two, so. Yeah. Hey! Yuri, person? That's neat! Well, I said, notice. I don't Yuri holding the left hand. <laughs> That'd be strange. And Monica's only in the right, so... But I never said you have a left-hand person! That changed the whole world! Uh... Yeah... Now don't have to worry about bumping your arm! Monica playfully rubbed her shoulder against Yui's. <laughs> sorry... I'm just being silly, I guess. Anyway, how about we start by listening the different things you want to say to her? Yuri thinks. I feel embarrassed all of a sudden. Ah, uh, it's okay. How about some of the things you said to me yesterday? But... Never mind. I guess I'll try. Yuri thinks for a moment longer. longer. Her tension is evident. Then she writes the word, Reflection. This is about my reflection on our behavior. The key question is, why are we at like the this toward each other, but have been able to separately be friends with Sayori and Monica. That's me! Yes, it is. So, Yuri thinks, I've been able to befriend the two of you because you're taking the time to understand my needs and respect my interest. Mm -hmm. The same goes for Natsuki too! We started off as pretty hostile to each other because I was worried about getting what I want, but she just wanted to respect her more than anything else. Well, one thing you're trying to get in touch with Natsuki, Monica, is play the piano. Want to stop making it all about me? She was able to do the same. I want to do that too. So, what kind of things do you want to do for her? I want... I want to do the same thing for her that I like to receive. I like it when people respond positively, positively to the things that I talk about, and not just brush me off. I like it when my feelings are taken seriously. I like, and I like when you and Sayori trust that I want to be a good person, even when I'm not doing a good job at all. Let's write those damn things down. I'm also Dan. Let's write those things down. Okay, <laughs> Michael will be like. But the write that down, write that down! And make sure not forget something. Yuri writes down some... Some things down. Oh, well, it's just doing it. Which... Strange thing that they can write. But can't even see what they're writing because... Her handwriting is really fancy, so... I think the most important thing to remember here is that... Natsuki is feeling vulnerable. So we should make sure that the letters put her first. It's hard when you're feeling hurt. But it never helps to just tell someone all the time. Now, they're doing it wrong. I think first you have to make sure that they know you're ready to respect them and listen to them. And admit the things that you feel you could do better. Then finally, you ask what you would like to in return. How does that sound for the structure? It could be three paragraphs, one for each of those points. I like that. My thoughts were so disorganized. I had no idea how to come up with any kind of structure. You're so amazing at these... things. Oh, stop! You've done so much more than I have, you know? You spend so much time reflecting and being open-minded. 
That's the hardest thing for anyone to do. All I'm doing is helping you put it on a piece of paper. So I think you're an amazing one. Mm. Manka gives Yuri's hand a quick squeeze. But as she let go, she caught by surprise when Yuri curls her hair to hook Manka's hand in place. For a while, they sit like that in silence, saving an occasional scratching of Yuri's pen against the paper. Yesterday, you told me something that I'm thinking about a lot. What was that? The thing about how feelings aren't right or wrong, and that they're just a state of being we need to come to terms with. It made me think about how a person's behavior isn't always just how decided to be. I can't even say that. I just have a time reading it. It also made up of their past experience and their insecurities. I think that helps me see other people as actual people, rather than as insignificant side characters who are out to get me somehow. Is that how you felt about Natsuki? You're nuts. But in reality, everyone is always trying their best, and everyone wants to be happy. Mark appears over at Yuri's paper, but to her surprise, Yuri pulls it in closer. Pasha cover it with her arm. <laughs> I had to be able to read it to help out, you know? It's okay. My thoughts are a lot more organized now after being able to talk to you about it. Now that I'm actually putting it on paper, I realize I really prefer others not to read it. You laugh softly to herself, a rare expression. I'm kind of glad to hear that. I I'm kind of glad to hear that, actually. I still not keep finding ways to butt into the whole thing. I done enough damage. <laughs> but it's been lost, but it's been so I can't even say it. But it's also been so wonderful talking about this. I mean, I always thought you were really smart, but your smiles. I will always be ter I always be terrible at these things. People are just so incomprehensible to me. I'll never get the hang of being one. <laughs> but listen to you so much has really helped me make sense of some things. So just don't call it a damage, please. Maga gives Yuri a gentle smile. I can't believe I came to this club looking for fancy geeks, and that all I got was real friends who value me. Is that... a joke? Of course it is. <laughs> I still can't tell with you. Uh, sorry. No, I love it. Please never change. As you wish. You glance at the clock. We're almost out of time. Will you be able to finish? Before the end of the day? Probably. But I don't want to come to the club the same day that Natsuki reads it. I'm too shy. I can give it to her instead, if you like. You're nuts. As long as you promise not to read it. Of course, I promise. Thank you. Well, you're not gonna let Yuri gonna do it. Yuri exhales, and the two stands up. I'll message you when it's ready. Mark or not. Good luck! I'm here if you need me. Yuri turns to nod. And then two depart. Wait, they're not finished the red letters? Dang. But on the other hand, that's solely amazed how between those two will help stuff together. And I got another mail? Wait, how much percentage I got? 72. Maybe you guys have been collecting a lot of data then? Um, I have Lester again. It says OMG? Really? OMG for that? But it's still the same thing for like the same month but a different t day, so. Um,. Okay, who's responsible for creating a Twitter account for Monica? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? A tw creating a Twitter account for Monica? Oh, this is not really weird, is it? <laughs> I don't know. That's so stupid. I think it's hilarious, but for God's sake, don't tell Paula. <laughs> it will get 404D in a microsecond. 404? Wait, is it the one that found the folder? Wait, let me see it. It was from the folder! 
are you just relying her tweets manually, or do you do you code some kind of pass-through layer to arm make based on the content of the tweet? E.g., not screaming for help. I assume that coming from the control simulation. Okay, 404. That's the one that I found in one of those um, fo those files, right? Um, if I look back to files, if you go for internal, 40, and then 40, and yeah, that's one. That's the one that, that was from the mail referring to. But what's the meaning for those Twitter things? But I can't open it. Maybe it's kind of like a hint, like how to access or something. It says, are you just relying her tweets manually or did you code some kind of password layer to uh, automate it? Based on content of the tweet, AG, not screaming for help. I assume they're coming from the control simulation. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know what you're referring to. But something tells me about like, <laughs> what's strange in that? Why is that like creating a Twitter account for Marka? I don't know what the heck did they come up with exactly, but if it's something to do with Twitter and everything, well, it's a good thing you put that up on here. But sadly, I can't. So, oh, there's another picture about Yuri. Finish the side story reflection two. I guess Yuri got a lot of things to write letters when the time to finish. Of course, we got this amazing image here, of uh, helping up to write letters and everything. And oh, that's the last of the background. A small, quiet staircase, which you would sometimes prefer as her feeding location. Well, oh, is that it? Is? And I noticed that some puzzle there as well, which I didn't even pay attention for a second. Is there more around here? No. I guess that's all of it. But, there's a lot that I'm curious about. There's, there's one thing about those mail dates. They said, like, um, about the full of full thing, the those final things. But I don't understand about those those Twitter account things. It's a very weird thing to say exactly. Um, I'm not sure how the heck was to do this exactly. Maybe I do that in real life or something. I don't even know. It's a puzzle. You can't like figure something out. <laughs> but anyways, but oh, that's kind of really interesting between Monica and Yuri a lot. I mean, it's so strange enough. Like Yuri's having a hard time with Natsuki for like. Um, so they made things her. But I thought for sure they were going close to get finished it. I guess we're gonna wait for another side story but it happens. At best it's gonna be like um the last part is gonna be something to do for like between Natsuki and Yuri. But I'm more curious when we go for the pictures. I wonder what's the last part is. There was like a last two pictures there left remains. I wanna know what it is, so there's no telling how uh, what it is, because the one is gonna be something to do from the other one. I don't know. But anyways, I'll come back again for tomorrow. I'm still not sure how the heck was it possible or if there any way to get the secrets. Because I tried that even I tried to like open up the, from the files, but it wouldn't be on work, so I'm not sure how or what kind of secret does it work exactly. But who knows? But anyways, that's pretty much it for Doki Doki Ninja Club Plus. If you like this video, hit the like button too. Line them up! Eh, which videos or check out if you can subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Later!